the Commonwealth is currently home to more than 117,000 ESL students. According to the Commonwealth Institute, 1 in 10 children within the state's public school system is classified as an ESL student. According to English Language Coordinator for the Virginia Department of Education, Joel Cox, we need to make sure everyone who supports ESL students are properly trained and informed. And not every English learner has the same needs. Um, they come from different parts of the world with different experiences, different languages, different cultures. And so their needs are, are quite varied. And so it's really about developing um, the capacity of everybody who works with those students. But a new report from the Commonwealth Institute found Virginia ranks sixth worst for ESO graduation rates and has seen among the largest drops in academic achievements in both math and reading. With the onset of the pandemic, state's funding and support for the program was cut, leaving local governments to pick up the slack. And the organization says not every county can maintain this responsibility. Here in the Richmond area, um, you know, there is much less support for English language learners. Um, I think in part due to local capacity and in part due to um, just past funding decisions about where resources go. Another hurdle? There needs to be a certain number of certified ESL teachers to meet the needs of the growing number of English learners in the school system. But Cox says not every teacher meets those qualifications. To be an, an EL certified teacher, you have to have an endorsement in EL or ESOL or TESOL. So there's an additional endorsement that's required in order to be able to understand and support um, English learners. Many counties in Virginia are working hard to ensure that ESL students are receiving proper support. That includes Henrico County. Educational specialist and supervisor at the Welcome Center at J.R. Tucker High School, Sarah Modrak, assists children in registering and getting tested in preparation to enter Henrico schools. Modrak says the center's aim is to make sure that the transition for families and schools can go as smoothly as possible. Trying to aim to get them started on the right foot, so giving schools as much information so that they're able to support the families immediately when they arrive, um, get them into classes, and, and kind of have a better understanding of what their needs are. Lead teacher Alan Pritchard provides direct instruction to ESL students in Henrico. Pritchard says it's fulfilling working with her crop of kids. It gives me goosebumps right now to think about those interactions with students and sort of those aha moments that I, I personally get to experience and, and that brings me a lot of joy. Online ESL students can access the VDOE's Language Instruction Educational Program modules, which help these students also learn English. Reporting for VCU Insight and the newsroom at VCU, I'm Jason Tejeda Molina.